What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima, for those of you guys that are new. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys my most updated, and not even updated, just I've been doing this the last few times I've done my makeup and it's just been coming out so good. Like, I mean, good. And I was just like, I have to share this with you guys. Cause number one, you guys are gonna ask me anyways. Number two, I was just so excited. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be giving you guys my most flawless blend, flawless, literally I'm gonna be recreating a whole new face. And that's okay. That's fine with me. If you guys wanna hang out, it's probably gonna be a long video, but that's okay because you're gonna get a lot of different things on this video. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So it's been a couple hours since I woke up and I had I did my skincare earlier, so I'm just gonna refresh it really fast. Hyaluronic Acid Serum from L'Oreal. A few days ago, my skin was looking crazy. This was the serum that I just put on right now. Underneath my eyes with this Kiehl's Youth Dose Eye Treatment. This is what it looks like right here. My skin, especially my base, has been coming out so good. Too good to not share. Reapply my moisturizer. This is from Fresh, their Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. Literally almost out of this thing. It is so good. I almost feel like I can use this without a primer because I was talking to Ezra. She's like one of the girls over at Fresh and she was telling me that has an ingredient in there that um pretty much almost acts like a primer. So you can kind of skip primer with this moisturizer. I've done that a few times and it doesn't ball up or anything, so that's nice. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply my sunscreen, because like I said, it's been a couple hours since I did my skincare routine. This is the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Perfector Lotion with SPF 50. It has the wet force and the heat force technology. Today's video is also in partnership with Shiseido. They have two new ones and I also already had Clear stick, which I love. They launched this new one right here, which is a lotion. It's an invisible lotion. So I'm gonna give it a quick shake. So it does go on clear. It also has the wet force protection, which the stick has, which I love to use when I work out. But this one has got the heat force as well for during the day. I'm over here trying to break my neck to look at my mirror and I can just bring it closer. Really, really good for your skin. And I just apply this right on top of my lotion and just like that. Like I said, this one doesn't ball up, doesn't cause no problems with my skincare, which I really, really like. Everything about the base, it comes down to your just how your skin looks. So just a few quick things about this one. It is ocean friendly, so it's not harming the environment. They've had the wet force for a while, but now they've got the heat force in this one. That just means it's strengthened by water and heat. It also has an invisible, like a water resistant veil, so it doesn't wash off as much as other sunscreens whenever you get it wet. So it really is out here to protect your skin. Shiseido has been killing it in creating sunscreens that are gonna really work for everyone. It's just bomb. So shout out to you Shiseido. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. We are gonna go ahead and start on this face. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I want to try and use a different primer, but this is just what I've been using and I don't want to mess it up. I'm going in with the MAC Strobe Cream. I have it in the shade Gold Light. Let's get highlighted. So I like this illuminator. It's not too overpowering. There's some illuminators that I've tried that are crazy looking. They have legit glitter in them, and I'm just like, this is not gonna fly. This is not gonna fly. Mm -mm. Now I'm going into the Lip Tinted Hue Stick in the shade Found. I'm not gonna use as much as I normally use because the foundation that I'm using today is pretty much gonna cover everything I needed to cover. It's just around my mouth. I still get that weird mustache -y situation. So what I do feel like has really taken my foundation and my base routine there is this foundation right here. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. This foundation is stupid expensive, and I mean stupid expensive, but it's really, really good. Probably one of the deepest foundations that I currently own right now, that's that shade. Oh, that just looks like heaven. That's why to me, I justified the price. I was like, okay, if no one else is doing it like this, there's one or two other companies that are doing it really, really well, but this is just, look at that. I'll pay $150 for that. It's also a really beautiful formula as well, so. That doesn't hurt. Now go in with a very light layer. It matches certain parts of my face, but then it does match other parts of my face. So what it's gonna look like first is it's gonna look like it's too dark for a little bit. Actually, it looks really good on camera. In person, it just kind of looks like slightly just a little bit too dark, but I balance everything out 
with concealer here in a sec. This brush is the Sephora Pro Diffuser Foundation Brush in the number 64. I know it actually looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but if I take a step back, you guys see how much darker my face is to my chest. I'm gonna bring everything all in together here in a sec. I am on coffee cup number two and it is just coursing through my veins right now. Not a big coffee drinker. I'm gonna go with the NYX Born to Glow Concealer Deep Espresso. I'm just gonna use it right underneath here. And then I'm gonna take it right there. And I've started blending my concealer from the outwards in, because I noticed that when I take it from here out, I tend to drag it out too far. So I start here and I go in, which has been helping me keep everything where I wanna keep it, which is right underneath my eyes versus like too far out. I'm gonna use next the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in the shade 8N, very deep neutral. And what I've really been doing, which I'm doing a terrible job at today, is sculpting right here. Just putting everything where I want it. I'm gonna take some of this Kevin Aquan, the Central Skin Enhancer. I saw um, Jackie raving about this concealer. It's not my favorite underneath my eyes, but I've been using it to like just highlight my brow bone before I even do my brows, and I've been really loving it. I mean, this concealer is pigmented, super pigmented, so it really helps make my eyebrows pop, and I've been really liking it right there. There. And it's kind of like the first step for my eyebrows. Okay. Now that I sufficiently look like a Martian, I'm gonna go and contour with the Fenty Matchstick in Caviar. You really can't see it on my forehead, but you know, you get the gist of what I'm trying to do. I'm creating a whole new face, you guys, period. Nobody say anything. I actually really like it. I think it's so cool that we can go and like literally express ourselves this way. It's so much fun. Also, the number one thing is knowing your undertone, you guys. I feel like it's very redundant at this point, but you have to know your undertone. Like, that is the first thing to just identify. If I try to do this with a concealer that wasn't my undertone, I'd look crazy doesn't matter how good you are at blending if your undertone looks off it's gonna look off i'm gonna blend out the forehead this is a real techniques setting brush that looks so good okay and we haven't even finished blending foundation brush and go in between where i have the contour and the highlight i'm gonna blend out that edge y'all Sometimes I don't even know why I do the thing, the concealer on the nose, because I always end up just putting it all over. <laughs> and then to brighten, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark 3 Coffee. This just makes the tip of my nose like pop out just a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out my brow. I do a light touch on the brow because I don't want it to go completely away. This is a Sephora number 57 brush. This is what it looks like right there. This also helps to like push out my forehead because it makes that center pop. I have a pretty flat forehead, how it looks flat right there and I have a little weird indent. It makes it come out a little bit more and I feel like that looks a little bit better. For powder, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Bun Setting Powder. I'm gonna start with this powder first. This is the pure translucent with this underneath and then going on top with the Huda. Yeah, this just hits better. So now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Cinnamon Bun. See how that just helped brighten up right underneath my eyes? Now I'm taking this really fluff, fluffy fluff brush from Sephora. Take my Dior Forever and Ever Shine Control Powder. Using the butt of my Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna 
so that is my face right now literally you guys this is crazy I'm gonna go ahead and set that down or spray that down with the morphe continuous setting mist I went ahead and did my brows off camera. I used the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP in the shade Deep Black, and then I also used the Fly Liner just to like intensify, intensify my tail. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a little bit of concealer to just help that pop right there. I did the same technique that I've been using for my brows. This is a 15 to 20 minute brow, and I can't give it to you guys in every single video. It'll take too long, and you guys don't wanna sit there. That's why I put it in a one video by itself so you guys can see what I've been doing. We're gonna do eyes. And I did switch up my eyeshadow technique just a little bit. I'll show you guys what I've been doing here in a sec. Some ABH eye primer. I'm actually gonna be using the new Norvina palettes that just launched. Start off by going into my Ben Nye palette. I'm gonna use this shade right here as my transition shade. I'm gonna start there and then take it right in here. I'm gonna go into, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go into deep eye and I'm gonna kinda just run that right on top of where we have everything. I'm not sure what look I wanna create. I feel like I've done so much pink recently that uh, I wanna do another pink look, but I feel like I've just done so much pink recently. I'm gonna have to pass on that palette because I feel like you have to do pink with that palette. So I'm just gonna go into Dose of Colors, Sassy Sienna, which is this palette right here. I'm going in with this shade right here. We can get down with this. I'm not afraid to take this eyeshadow really close up to my brow right here. But what I do like to leave bare is my brow bone because when that light, when that highlight hits the brow bone, I don't even know how to explain it. It just looks so good. And I'm gonna go into this shade. I'm gonna mix that same shade that I have in my crease right there with this shade right here just to deepen it a little bit. This is from the Ben Nye palette that I was just using. I'm gonna take Stay Sassy, again, this top shade. This is a Sephora Pro Shadow Brush number 18. I'm gonna put down some powder. I'm gonna go in with A1, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna go into E4 and C5 from the volume two palette from Morvina. I'm going in with E4 um, again on the bottom left arm. Get rid of this powder. I'm gonna try this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Intense Smoky Quartz. I think it's gonna do what I need it to do. No, it's not hidden. What is it called? Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Double Life. And I'm gonna try and put that right where. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna take the same shade in my bottom waterline as well. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Wispies. This is the ABH mascara. For blush, I'm gonna use this Mented Cosmetics Play Too Much Brush, because I want something that's kind of gonna fit the tone. Mented really did something when they got when they created this blush. Blush also just marries the highlight and the contour so beautifully. Like even if you didn't blend like you needed to blend, blush will just bring everything together. So good. Okay, I'm gonna take some across the tip of my nose. Mmm, this looks so good. I just went in and really reinforced that line right there. Bless the face with some highlight. I'm gonna use my, an oldie but a goodie, I'm gonna use the Dior Nude Skin Air Luminizer. That little peekaboo of light. Milani All Over Blending Brush. It's perfect for highlight. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my lip with this. 
and then I'm gonna pop some of this in the center of my lips just to see not bad I feel like I need a gloss but I always do gloss should I I really shouldn't but I will I'm gonna put on a gloss I'm gonna use the Milani bare pink rose okay that kind of did something we can kind of get down with that Ooh, this looks so good the only thing is I do feel like I look slightly a little bit too dry so I'm gonna go and spray one more time with the Morphe probably my last day with my braids I have worn them out but they look so good alrighty so that is pretty much it that's everything that I've been doing that's new you guys can see the blend the finish it just looks so good I'm obsessed I'm obsessed can't stop looking at myself I love the way that the eyes came out and the lip it's just nice and bronzy and really pretty and really clean that is pretty much it for our video I really hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you wear your sunscreen. Thank you again to Shiseido for sponsoring today's video. Don't let the sun have you out here looking crazy. Like, it will. Don't let it do that to you. Make sure you apply your sunscreen. Go ahead and check them out down below. I have everything in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love, and I will see you guys 